Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Daddy. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, please like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and all that good stuff. Come alive from my living room, first of all. Got a few things on the agenda i gotta do. i want to take this bike down to the track i plan on putting this one on m5 so i want to start putting the motor back on this one right here and i gotta rebuild the bully uh, i miss riding on my bikes i miss take some, taking all my bikes out and having fun at the track plus i'm thinking about um possibly breaking down the red bike and repowder coating it a different color i haven't chosen the color yet so I don't know, but I think it's going to be real nice. So I got to put things back together. I got to put my buddy back together. I got to put the engine back together. So that's going to give me a few things that we got. to. I want to either make some stands or possibly find a stand for my bike so I can get them off the floor. Plus my third bike that I'm doing. So, you know, I just got a bunch of stuff to do. I got a lot of clean in. When I get back to streaming, I haven't been able to stream. Um, I had a respiratory infection. I'm still recovering from that, so I'm doing better. But, yeah. So, I'm going to check in with y'all a little later. Yeah. I still got another treat for y'all, man. So, we pulled up on my boys from Bill Brick and Repeat. We went and pulled up on Jason and Joe. So, I haven't even told them I'm here yet. I told them I was on the way. But I haven't told them I'm here yet. So, we finna see right now. Look how good this thing looks. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Come on in. What's up, man? Yeah, we're not doing anything too crazy today. Um, Cause that, as it is right now, it's ready to um, to drive. But we don't want to drive right now because it's wet. So it's wet. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of unpainted metal. This is Jason, everybody. Howdy. If y'all don't know Jason, y'all probably seen Bill Baker repeat to Instagram and this background, and Joe is over there. Oh. <laughs> Caught him at a good time. Caught him at a good Great. time. Yeah. But let's see. Hey, make sure it's in forward, not reverse. Wait, yeah. you got forward and reverse. Yeah. And Ready? reverse. Oh, oh that's, reverse. that's reverse. This is a cut. <laughs> <laughs> so reverse is like impossible to control. Yeah, I thought yeah. it'd be easier to balance in reverse than it actually is. It's really hard. Yeah. So. Yeah, we haven't really done a good test on this thing yet, but we drove around a little bit. It's pretty fun. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm jealous. Yeah, 1972. Yeah, I got all the good stuff. I'm jealous. Dude, Joe just is always on Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. And stay, then stay off Facebook, Joe. Yeah. This was in my dorm room for like two years too. I picked it up and loved it while I was at college. Yeah, I got Probably. sponsored. Oh, uh, the battery. Yeah, battery. Who sponsored? Motor, Wait, who sponsored y'all? It's, it's called. They're called BigBattery.com. Big battery. This one's like fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. But it has a ten-year warranty. It's like a mm. high-end. It's lithium, lithium, lithium iron polymer, lithium polymer iron. which means it's less likely to blow up on you. Yeah. So it's kind of more safe to store in a garage. But what if you want something to blow up? Lithium iron phosphate is lasts longer. Like it's more shelf stable, and then. It's safer, so it won't burn you down, burn your house down. So. It's slow. It's slow. If y'all don't see, that is a hoist coming down. <laughs> it's rated for like 500 pounds, so we can do basically anything we want. So what if we tie Joe up to We've that? Done it. Like, for real? Yeah. Why? Don't try it at home, but so we have done it. Before, <laughs> the contractor that put it up there, um, they didn't like tighten it all the way, so it was super rickety. That's good. And then it was um, tilted, so like every now and then the cable would like bunch up and then slip, and you drop like four inches. Yeah. <laughs> so we lifted ourselves up, and you're like 12 feet in the air, and you just go boom, fall. It's so sketchy. Yeah. So this is what we just did to it to make it easier to get bikes in more places. So yeah. So it's mounted onto a piece of unistrut, and they make these little bearing Trolley. slider trolleys for this hoist, for that fits inside of the unistrut. So. That's what we got now. We can pick stuff up just before saying, we had to move. Just saying we, but I did, had to Jason by myself. Over. I was on a ladder on the thing, bending over to mount. I had to level it out and then make brackets. He was tied off though. 
I did time myself up. OSHA. Did a ratchet OSHA strap. OSHA approved. I did OSHA a ratchet OB. strap around my stomach and then a ratchet strap to yeah. the bar. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's, like, that's so much approved. Yeah. You but, gotta do better, Jason. I mean, you know, we just need to go buy a climbing harness already. But yeah, I <laughs> love this thing. Yeah. We still have to take every bike down to like rearrange stuff and now we have, we can at least take like three or four bikes and three. put them back without having to move everything. You can get the Thunder Turd, the MX, or the race bike. Yeah. So. Can we walk up there so I oh, can see? Yeah, and then this is cool because you can just weigh stuff. You know, like this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what oh, is it's not the most balanced. Did you, did you? Oh, you didn't, off? You didn't uh, it turned off. It out. says three pounds. Three pounds. Dang, light. That is light. This is made out of aluminum. Uh, no, it's made out of titanium. You didn't know. Uh, it might be on hold. Alright, now it's zeroed is out. Is it on hold? Uh, I don't know. Now it is. It's good. Wait, scoot that strap over to the left. No, the other one. This one? Yep. These guys are crazy. Why are you saying 2.5? Because it's on hold. Oh, there we go. 160. 160. Yeah. Yeah, I think I weighed one fifty, or I weighed it at one fifty eight. So yeah, it's like one sixty. But yeah, I mean, I'll, if I want it over there, two one sixty. You just and rock it. Over. Yeah. That is so scary. That's what put us on the map. I'd say kickstarted our. So what is your progress? Niche of being rotary, like a lot of the things I see that y'all do is just pretty much a lot of rotaries. Yeah. We haven't done a rotary in a while, actually. No, we're, we're about do to do one. one. Yeah, but we found the only reason we started them is because one popped up on offer up. It was this one. Yeah, this is the rarest one. They only made eighteen hundred of those in the world in nineteen seventy four. This <sighs> shifter motor. And we got that one. This behemoth of a cart. Oh yeah. The you sit is. right next to it, so you just. You hear it right next to you. It's a pretty crazy experience. Um, and then, so yeah, we got that one, and we're like, I think it was well, seven or eight hundred bucks on offer up, and it was like, I think it was in Garland or something, like real close by. Local. Yeah, or it might have even been Keller. So we just were like, yeah, let's pick this up, see if we can get it running again. And then after a full rebuild and like almost giving up, a lot of views and subscribers. Yeah, also, it really took off, and yeah, Abe made one of the coolest carts that like we've ever been in. It's I need to get a job in the tire shop so I can finally understand what all the numbers mean. Well, I still wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what it means. Then I got to show you the drift strategy. All right, we go. We go hold off on that. We're we'll giving it no secret. Ah. Yes, the loft. Talk to me. Got triple Suzuki FA50 mopeds. Started off with one. Needed some parts, so we had to buy two parts scooters, obviously. And now. We have like a whole fleet we of get, these. I mean, we got those two for 50 bucks. Yeah. That's a steal. Got the Cafe yeah. Racer mini bike back in the corner. Nice. One of those Indy 500 go-karts. I think made by Bird. Bird. Little Rascal under the, under the go-kart. Oh yeah, there it is. We did the, Bro, yeah, got, the cowboy vibe. Yeah, I got, got more bikes than me. You know it sucks. Have, I'm still planning on doing more bikes. Oh yeah? You never have enough. Yeah. yeah. So the problem is the room. Please don't step right there. Here's our storage. Well, you're, no, you gotta, you have to go. You're around. making me nervous. I'm not stepping out there. I'm so, just, I'm gonna stand right here where it's, it's safe. Cool, cool, twelve feet up, but yeah. Nah. So yeah, we're like, oh, I want to, I want to drive the Thunderbird. Go over here. And, you know, hoist it down. Boom. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I need to get my collection up. Well, we got to talk some business, people. So I'm going to be right back with y'all, all right? Wow, Jason is over there cutting and grinding on things. I want y'all to see something that I want to get to a point with this channel to grow, and I need y'all help. So every time I come here, right, I see their plaque. Their YouTube plaque. Their YouTube plaque is at over a hundred thousand. I want one of these. I think we all deserve one. 
So if y'all can do me a favor and drop a follow, well, actually subscribe and like, share, and comment. I want a plaque to hang up. Yeah, we really just chilling over here today. Um, I am going to bring some of my bikes over here, hopefully soon, and just do a couple things about it. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do. I know I, I do want to build a Megamoto. So maybe I can do a crazy Megamoto 80 build. So, mm-hmm. That's what I think I'm gonna do. You got everything wrapped up for the night, you done? Yep, we just got our brake switch in. We're done for the night. Nice, man, nice. Joe, you calling it a night? Yeah, all this hard work of sitting around watching Jason do all the work. Got me tired, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I did something, I think. Cool, well I appreciate y'all for letting me stop by and yeah, you know, by giving everybody a tour. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay tuned for what's coming next. We have so many plans in store and so many new builds and really just refurbishing other builds that they have. Like, look at this dude. <laughs> so it's your boy Day Day and I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, turn on post notifications. And yeah, you know. You know where we at, so we appreciate y'all and I'm out of here. Peace.